This is the Delorme Topo USA NetLink download tutorial. Uh, I am using version 8, but the steps that I will demonstrate here will also work with uh, version 7. As you can note, I have both the left and right map panes open. Uh, the right side shows the Delorme Topo uh, in vectorized format, and the left side shows uh, the image rate that I'm currently working with and uh, does 3D format and some other cool things. I typically work on the left side, so I'm going to close the right side. Uh, the left side allows me to continue viewing the data that I've already downloaded and select the areas adjacent to it to continue downloading uh, and complete my selections. I also go into the Options location and select USGS Quadrangle Coverage. This uh, provides me the quad names of the uh, map as this is what I use to name my selections. Uh, you can use whatever naming convention that you want. This works best for me. Then I go to the NetLink uh, tab, which is located at the bottom of the screen. And this will provide uh, different areas that I can go into for my downloads, including the map library, which I can set up to download different data types. Uh, the download area for when my downloads are ready to be downloaded from uh, Delorme. And the support area. It also provides uh, more information for the EarthMate PN series GPS units and uh, more information on uh, how to find NOAA nautical charts, which is a specialized selection and uh, bears looking into if you're interested in that. We're going to go into the map library location. NetLink communicates with Delorme to update the available data types of, uh, that are available for the $30 uh, dollars per year uh, subscription fee. The subscription allows me to download everything that I want to uh, that are that is made available and I can keep everything that I download even after the subscription expires. And this is taking just a little longer. Must be a high demand happening at uh, Delorme right now. Now, uh, before I start uh, showing the different data types that are available, if you'll notice in the blue area for the data type that I do have available, it indicates to you that your zoom level must be 11 or greater, which means 11, 12, 13, and so on. It also has a link for the active subscription available to you. Uh, I'm not going to click on that because that'll provide my subscription number and uh, provide for ways to download it without paying for it. <laughs> I'm not going to let you do that. Uh, so the data type uh, that's available to you is uh, color DOQQs, which is the aerial imagery, NOAA charts, satellite imagery, uh, USGS topo quads uh, that are scanned into digital format, uh, DOQ aerial imagery in black and white, and uh, high-res imagery, which is available in select metropolitan areas, not available everywhere uh, that uh, in the United States. Delivery method can be by DVD or downloads. Uh, DVD is going to be at extra cost, so I'm selecting the download. And I'm going to click on the select. And you'll notice I'm still at zoom level 9. I'm doing this on purpose for demonstration. If I click on the map at a zoom level higher, uh, higher than zoom level 11, it's going to pop up and uh, let me know that I'm still not zoomed in correctly and would I like to zoom the, to the correct level. I'm going to say yes. The blue area has changed uh, to show you what has been selected so far and how long the download time will be in an estimated uh, high bandwidth level. I'm going to adjust the map so I can see some adjacent area of the uh, color aerials I already have in place. And I can choose by grid, single click, or I can just drag and select massive amounts of grids. Now, what hasn't been noted here is you are limited to a specific number of grids or area that you can download or select at one time for specific data types. In this case, the color aerial is allowed up to about 100 grids or 250 kilometers, uh, square kilometers. And as you can see, I've overselected. So I have an alert now that advises me that I have overselected and I need to split my selection into smaller selections before clicking Add to List. That uh, doesn't really mean that I can just divide it in half and then go with it. What I have to do is back select it to get back under the 250 square kilometers. And I'm going to just adjust this so that I'm reaching my maximum number that I can download. 
back up one more time get the name of the grids that I'm downloading uh, which is Pinkman Butte and Harlow Ridge I click on the add to list make sure that your selections are all pinked out I'm going to add to the list it gives me an opportunity to name my selection Oops. I'm allowed up to 26 characters and letters and sp with spaces, no special characters allowed. It goes through a process, uh, it opens up the shopping cart and it allows me to uh, shop on, uh, it allows me to uh, check out uh, I can include maps for my DeLorme GPS to be cut at the same time which increases the download size. If I expand this you can see I have a selection already in place. I'm going to go ahead and do a shop on and I'm going to select five more selections. It tells you you have six selections. If I expand that all six are actually selected. The red X allows me to delete one of the selections. Uh, the arrow allows me to uh, change my mind on what I want to do with my tile selections per that section. If I try to do a checkout for all six selections it's going to alert me and let me know a selection limit notice. I have to use a checkbox as to limit my order to five selections. I'm allowed up to five selections per checkout order and up to three checkout orders at any time pending through DeLorme before I can make any more checkouts. I can make more selections I just cannot do any more checkouts with them until at least one full order is down. So. With that in mind, I can click this box and make sure they're all selected or deselect that box and deselect them all and then pick and choose which items I want to download first. So I have five selections in place with one grayed out. I'm going to say check out and now Netlink communicates with the LORM with the shopping cart and uh, sets up the order. It checks to make sure that I don't have any pending orders in place uh, exceeding my three orders total. Once I have that uh, confirmation I go ahead and submit the order and then close the window and then I can continue making more selections if I want to. I've already selected the downloads button and the five downloads are in progress but what that really means is that uh, the order is in progress and not yet ready for download. So as you can see they're still grayed out there's nothing available yet for download so I can't select the boxes and tell it to go. Okay, in the Your Data section uh, you'll notice I have five downloads and they are now ready to download as you can tell by the bolded and the size and the checkbox are ready to check. I can select them all and they will download sequentially. They will not download together. Uh, it will give me the total s download size of all the files combined or I can choose to start downloading one file which will make it a lot easier uh, at this time of day right now to, to demonstrate this to you. So I'm going to select the smallest one and then download the selected. This communicates with DeLorme and it updates the uh, information. Okay, we are at 97% complete for this download. It is worth noting while these downloads are occurring, you are unable to do anything else with Topo. So what I typically do is really squeeze this window down so I can manage other items on my desktop without it uh, covering the whole desktop up. I also typically time these downloads to happen overnight so it doesn't bother me that much anyway. Uh, but if I do this during the day, that's what I do. We're at 99% now. And once it completes 100%, it uh, finalizes the file and refreshes the screen and shows you the selection that it currently downloaded. So if you had more downloads, it'll actually zoom out and show you the downloaded area. And there you go. Um, it shows a beautiful uh, display there of the downloaded area and this completes the tutorial.